Hey guys and thanks for joining me in this video. Today we're talking about the new fragrance from Chanel and this is Le Lyon de Chanel. I have a couple of samples here and I have been wearing the fragrance for the past two days. So in this video I'm going to share with you my full review, I'm going to share with you my thoughts on this fragrance. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Please consider subscribing if you love luxury beauty and fragrances and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I really appreciate your support. Le Lyon by Chanel was first released in the Middle East on the 8th of May 2020 and it was supposed to be Middle East exclusive until January 2021 but right now Chanel released the fragrance also in Europe and in the US and it's currently available in all Chanel beauty boutiques and also on the website. I first wanted to get a sample from this fragrance because I was not very sure that I want to add this fragrance to my collection. As a faithful Chanel lover, I'm always curious when they come up with a new fragrance and I was very excited about this fragrance because Chanel have been teasing us for a while. I'm sure that a lot of the Chanel lovers know that Gabrielle Chanel was born on the 19th of August 1883 in the sign of lion. She is described as a little bit superstitious and fascinated by stars, so Gabrielle quickly considered the animal associated with her birth date as a source of luck. So this is how the lion connects to Chanel and Chanel's history. The nose behind this new fragrance is Olivier Polch and he did not devote his new creation to the animal but to the vision of Chanel. So I'm going to quote his words here. He says, I was much more interested in the emblematic Chanel lion than the animal. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the notes of the fragrance and I have here Coromando and I have also Le Lion just to be able to compare them because in the beginning I thought that Le Lion is going to be quite similar to Coromando but it's not actually. Le Lion is much more deeper, darker, a lot more intense. It's it's very intense fragrance. So starting with the notes of the fragrance, Le Lion has top notes of lemon and bergamot, hard notes are labdamum and amber, and the base notes are patchouli, sandalwood and Madagascan vanilla. It looks like an interesting blend to me. The first time when I sprayed the fragrance I was a little bit overwhelmed and to be honest repulsed because it is a very intense fragrance. So immediately after spraying Le Lion I would get that very strong incense kind of scent which to me it is not the most attractive but I'm sure that all niche fragrance lovers are going to absolutely love this fragrance because the dry down is quite smooth and it's a little bit different. But when I first sprayed this fragrance I couldn't associate this fragrance with any other Chanel fragrance. It is a lot more intense than all Chanel fragrances that I have tried and I think that I've tried all of the Le Exclusives fragrances from Chanel and I can't compare it to any other Le Exclusive fragrances. It has a very intense incense vibe. Then five minutes after spraying the fragrance it starts to settle down and I start to feel a little bit of the citrus notes but still the fragrance is quite intense. You can easily overspray this fragrance. I would say that with this fragrance one to two sprays is going to be enough. So the opening is absolutely very intense, very sharp, non-apologetic um, and to me it was a little bit repulsive right after spraying the fragrance. Le Lyon is a strong heavy oriental fragrance. I can feel the patchouli in this fragrance but the patchouli is very strong, very sharp patchouli. It is not the kind of soft, elegant, toned down, sophisticated patchouli that I can feel in Coromando. It is a lot stronger, it is a lot more intense. This fragrance is it's as if this fragrance roars into my face. So if you're testing this fragrance, you definitely have to give it at least 30 minutes to really be able to feel the notes of the fragrance. And as the fragrance develops, it becomes deeper and smoother and darker. And once it starts to develop on the skin, it becomes a lot more smooth and a lot softer, sweet, deep fragrance. It is a very long lasting fragrance on my skin. It lasts more than 10 hours definitely. So it is one of the most long lasting Chanel fragrances that I own. I think that this is a scent that is suitable for the winter weather. I wouldn't wear this in the spring or summer because it's way too dark, way too heavy. I think that this fragrance is going to be very suitable for the niche fragrance lover. If you're the average fragrance lover who is not that much into niche fragrances and if you prefer designer fragrances, you might not enjoy this fragrance a lot because it definitely has that non-apologetic leather musk resin accord, which a lot of the 
most of the designer fragrances don't have. So this is one of the strongest and the deepest and the darkest Chanel fragrances. A lot of times Chanel have been criticized for not doing a very bold, deep, rich fragrances. And now I guess that a lot of the customers, a lot of the Chanel customers are actually going to be happy with this release, especially the niche fragrance lovers usually don't appreciate a lot of the Chanel fragrances. I think that now they are going to be very happy because this fragrance is really intense, really rich. And even though we don't have leather listed as one of the notes in this fragrance, I definitely feel that very deep leather accord in this fragrance, like amber, leather, musk, vanilla, it becomes a little bit more sweet as the fragrance dries down, but it's definitely a very, very intense dark fragrance from Chanel, which is something that I didn't expect actually. I was expecting something more like a combination of Chanel number no. 22 and Coromando, but this is completely different. So I can compare this to Vintage Shalimar by Guerlain. So if you have Shalimar and if you love the Shalimar fragrance from Guerlain, in the dry down, this fragrance is so similar. It's like really, really similar. So if you love Shalimar by Guerlain, you're definitely going to, I would say, give a chance to this fragrance because it's these two fragrances smell very similar. The first day when I wore this fragrance, Four hours after applying Le Lion de Chanel, I could definitely feel myself like I was wearing Shalimar by Guerlain. So the notes that I can feel the most in the dry down are leather, vanilla and patchouli. But the patchouli is very deep, dark, kind of unapologetic patchouli note. It's not smooth, soft as Coromando. Coromando is quite easy to wear fragrance. So if you think that Coromando is way too strong, way too dark for you, probably you are not going to enjoy Le Lion de Chanel. So even though recently I have been liking more rich, more deep fragrances, I'm very happy that I got a sample first because I think that I'm not going to be adding Le Lion de Chanel at this point to my fragrance collection because for me personally it is way too dark, way too deep, way too rich. So for now I'm not going to be adding this fragrance to my collection but if you like more deep, more kind of a very dark oriental fragrances, I think you're going to enjoy this fragrance a lot. Let me know if you've tried this fragrance in the comments below, let me know what you think and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, bye!